Information about Namco's eagerly awaited follow-up to the disappointing Tekken tag is scarce to say the least, but PSW brings you the biggest exclusive ever with our first look at what's on offer. Although we're showing arcade footage of the game, it's running on PlayStation 2 hardware, so expect a very close look to the home game. Naturally, the graphics have achieved the level expected of a second-generation PS2 title, and the proper 3D environments provide a bounded gaming area, where new combat innovations provide the ability to slam your opponents into walls. Produced by Namco. The biggest leap forward in Tekken 4 is evolution of the level designs. Some levels are wide open, some are narrow and cramped, and it looks as if a few may even include multiple elevation levels with different shapes and constraints having their own effect on a fight. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. Round 1. Go! Fighting beneath the plane is an awesome new experience. Plus, all of the new zones have massive backdrops, which spread off miles into the background. As players now have a true 360-degree freedom, dodging and sidestep moves have received a new lease of life and provide the key to successful evasions and surprise attacks as you try to anticipate your opponent's every move. It's not only possible to circle the other fighters now, but a new switch move lets you swap places in an instant. Obviously, Namco are keeping the finer details very close to their chests, and the game modes on offer are yet to be confirmed along with the full character lineup. But Steve Fox, the mysterious British boxing champion, looks set to make the roll call along with a host of old favourites, instantly recognisable to Tekken fans. Tekken 4 should hopefully make it into the arcades this year, with a PS2 release rumoured to be early 2002. The only thing we can guarantee at this stage is the confrontation with Sega's Virtual Fighter 4 looks set to be a fight to the death. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4. 